Okay, now Visual Studio 2015 is installed. Uh, what you want to do or can do is to make a shortcut on your desktop for easier access. So you can just go in here and you write Visual should appear. So you just right click it, uh, make a puppet, and then paste it on your desktop. And you should have a shortcut for your program. So you just double click it and it should start. And now Visual Studio has started and uh, you can you can go ahead and create a new project, file, new project. And here you have all the templates. Okay, so what we're going to do now is install the Unity. I've already got it installed here. But what you want to do is you go to their website. And it's unity3d.com. And you come to this site. And here you can download Unity 5. So get Unity 5. And what the version you want to install is the personal version, which you have here. And here you have the free download, so just press it. And uh, then you go under download installer, press that. And it should start downloading the installer. And you just press the installer. Oops. And this should come up. And here you can press agree, next. And what you want to install is Unity 5, uh, the web player standard asset if you want to have an example project which you can look at and uh, find some example code examples or workflow examples you should download this one too uh, you do as you want then you press next and where you do you want to download your file to and i would like to download them here and where you want unity to install and then you just press install and the installation should uh, finish by itself basically it should look something like this. And what you can do here in this startup menu is you can either create a new project or you can open an old project. But we will create a new project and we can just name it as new Unity project. And you can see I have it on the OneDrive so it's accessible on all my uh, computers. And then you press create project. And this is what a Unity project, Unity window looks like. 